Alright guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make procedural terrain. So yeah, uh, those are some examples. Now today, uh, we won't go anything in depth. We're just going to go for the basics, the fundamentals here. So right here, it's actually very simple for the project we're going to make today. We have the floor and we have the trees. And by the end of this video, I think hopefully for some of you who doesn't have that much understanding of geometry nodes, we'll hopefully have a little bit more understanding. And as you can see right here, we can let me switch to over here so it's a little bit more smoother. You can adjust the size of the terrain and you can adjust the density of the trees. So something like that, not, not too advanced, not too basic. So yeah, without further ado, let's begin. Okay, so first I'm going to go over here to open a new file. Uh, let me not save this and there we go okay let's begin so first thing we need to go into the geometry node workspace which is up here and now we have this uh, scene right here we have this page which we don't really need right now so we can hover over the top left corner and just slide it like this to close it okay so now for this project we are going to use the default cube so let's press new and then as you can see right here there are two nodes right here connecting to each other there's the group output and the group input now basically uh, you don't really need to know the shading but uh, if you know the shading nodes i think this will be a little bit easier to understand now in shading nodes i think there's a thing called material output which is where all the things gather and then is output it to for us uh, output it for us to see now we have the same thing here but we also have the input now what the input is is all the information about this cube right here that we have the vertices and stuff now we don't necessarily need to use this so yeah we, we can unplug it and for this project we're going to use a grid so we can unplug it and add a grid right here and let's plug it in here so as you can see we have a plane or grid now and let's increase the size of it to two meters by two meters and we're gonna make a terrain so we want it to be kind of more detailed so we can increase the vertices to like 500 which is i think is quite ideal for this kind of project so basically the vertices is like the amount of subdivisions or the amount of vertices that we have in here okay let's move this up here okay now the first thing that we want to do is we want to kind of make the terrain bumpy so basically to put it in a basic way we want to offset in like each individual vertices on the z-axis randomly so we can use a set position node right here now on face value what it does is it just moves objects and what we want to do is we want to kind of move it randomly now to do this we need to utilize a thing called a noise texture which i think i covered in another video but basically it's a texture a randomly procedural created texture that is like black and white and it generates kind of random spots which can be utilized in many ways and forms so let's add it right here shift a add and search noise texture right here now we can just directly plug it into over here because it's all covering the xyz so we need to add another node so that we only interact with the z-axis which we're going to use the combine xyz node which turns the vector into individual three axes right here so we can plug it in oh we can plug it in like this now and there we go it works now let's adjust a couple things for this noise texture so it looks more like a beautiful terrain so first we're going to change the 3d to a 40 so now that we have more options now you can adjust the w which is the seed it basically adjusts like the different ways that you, you could go and the scale let's lower it so maybe like 0 0.2 is good i think we just want it to be like a little bit wavy 
like this. Now the detail, we want uh, loads of detail. So we have something like this. It looks like dirt now and it's amazing, I guess. And then that's good. We can keep the roughness at where it is. And basically now let's increase the distortion a little bit, maybe to like two so that we have kind of a stretchy feeling right here. So this is great. Now we want to give ourselves a little bit more control over this terrain. I mean, we can't really change it except for the W right here. And we want to be able to adjust it a little bit better. So we're going to use a thing called a RGB curve, which is a way, which is like a node that just like RGBs with a curve. So we can add a point right here and you can kind of adjust the heights and stuff for the curves. You can kind of mess around with it to, and see what you like. But as you can see, you'll end up with something like this. Maybe. I think that looks kind of good. So we're going to use that. Maybe I'm going to move this one a little bit down. Okay, that looks nice. Okay, so now we got the terrain done. So next, we, what we want to do is we want to add trees. So before we do that, let me just explain a little bit. Let, let, let's move this a little bit. So first, we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a bunch of points on this plane or this terrain. So we're gonna put a bunch of points on it, and then we're gonna put our objects on that point. In this case, we're gonna be using a tree. So the way to do this is we need three nodes. First is called the distribute points on faces, which basically does what it says. It distributes the points on the faces. Like I said, we're going to put a bunch of point, uh, points on this uh, tree. Then next, what we're going to use is an instance on, oh, on points, which what it does is it allows us to put the instances on the points. So let's plug this together. And there we go. And last thing is we need whatever object that we're going to use. So in this case, let's use a cube for now as a demonstration. Uh, you don't need to follow along if you don't want to. I mean, you might learn something if you follow along, so it's up to you. So basically, you're going to take a cube and you're going to plug it into the instance right here. So now to, for it to work, we need to ch take the information of the place, the face that you want to put it in and put it in the mesh. Then we need to take the output and put it in the output. Now, as you can see, it's a little bit uh, jumbly right here. But if we lower the scale to like 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, you can see that it is kind of the terrain. And now there's a bunch of cubes on it. Now, there's a little bit of a catch right here. As you can see, we added the cubes on the points and stuff, but the terrain is gone. The problem is that when we take this and plug it in here, it's just the terrain. And if we take this, it's just the distributed cubes. Now, if there only was a way to have the two plug in at the same time, and there is, which is called join geometry right here. The join geometry nodes allows us to join geometry information. So as you can see, we can plug this in and we can also take this and plug this in and you can add multiple amounts of geometry i think it doesn't have a limit here so you can plug it in as much as you want which i don't think you will find any cases that you plug in that much so yeah just enjoy it so now we have a cube which is nice but what we want here is tree not cube so let's delete this for now now it's very simple for now we can model a tree so let's go back to layout and what we're going to use is we're going to use a cube Let's scale it down, let's move it up. And let's go into edit mode and then kind of loop cut right here. Then we're gonna scale it on the Y or whatever axis that it's wide on. Then we're gonna scale it on the Y again so that it's hexagonal. And lastly, we can apply the scale. So now let's go back into edit mode and we're gonna select the top face. There's two, so be careful. Now let's scale it down a little bit so it's kind of like like this, like a cone shape. Then we can extrude up. Oh, then we can extrude it, cancel it, scale it, and then move it down. Extrude, scale it in. Let's move it down a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Extrude, cancel, scale it bigger, move it down, and then 
like this extrude scale extrude and i have three layers you can have four or more it's up to you but once you add the last layer and you want to merge it together you can press m and then merge at center so that it merges let's go into vertex select and select the top and move it up a little bit so it's a little bit more good <laughs> it's a little bit better i guess and lastly uh, i think the trunk is a little bit too big so let's select it down here uh the trunk and then we can just scale it shift to z so as you can see we have this and lastly as you can see the origin right here is not at the bottom so let's go into edit mode and press a and let's move it up so that the origin is on the bottom i guess not you don't need to be that exact you can have it a little bit rough but we just don't want that much things poking out of the bottom so let's go back to geometry nodes and right here now what we can do is just take this cube 001 which is our tree right here and we can just drag it in right here and then we can just plug the geometry into the instance like we did with the cube let's move this uh, a little bit on the side for now but as you can see you got the thing working now i think the scale is a little bit too small so i'm gonna increase the scale a little bit maybe like 0 0.3 um that's a little too big i think 0 0.2 may work yeah i think that's good okay so yeah that's nice everything's good now all we have to do now is to add the materials and we should be good so now the material for the tree is very uh intuitive you just need to add it on the tree so let's go into material preview like this add a new material and i'm gonna make it dark brown wait well, not dark brown dark, dark green okay my bad dark green and then the bottom one uh, we can go into edit mode and select the trunk and we'll have it to be dark brown okay assign new and then a little bit darker like this so yeah that works and uh, for the ground here it's a little bit different it's a little bit of a different story uh, you need to add it in the, with a node since this plane or terrain right here isn't actually real it's a modifier if you go into edit mode for it as you can see it's still a cube so you need to kind of add it in so you can pray it, uh, press shift a search and we're going to use a node called set material which basically adds material and you can put it right here right behind set position then we can just select the default cube material and then change it a little bit so it's a little bit like light green that's what i like and there we go uh, i mean lastly let's go into cycles Let's check out how it looks. And yeah, that's nice, pretty basic for now. Now, as I said, you can kind of adjust this to be your own way. It doesn't like need to be a tree. You can make it uh, different things. Now you can actually add multiple uh, objects. You, you can have like two types of trees. As you can see, there's like the joint geometry. So you can kind of extend that out like in more ways and add more objects. Now, if you have any questions, you can leave a comment down below or you can join our Discord server, which is linked in the description. And maybe I can help you there. Or if you want to share the things you made, you can join there. Or if you want to kind of discuss things with other people who use Blender. So yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye.